Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have the Arturo Fuente Grand Reserva. This is the Double Chateau Maduro. It's a 6.7 length by 50 ring gauge Toro. Rated as mild to medium. I've had it for three months. These go for about $5.80 on Cigar International. I got this for free in what is called a box pass with a cigar group on Facebook that uh, it was people sending out a box of cigars, about eight to 10 or so. You take what you like, put in something new, send it on. The shipping was the biggest thing because it was not your, your typical cheap priority mail shipping. It was probably about 14, 15 bucks to ship it on. But this was one of the ones I grabbed out of there. Not really sure why. If I did my homework on it, I may have changed my mind. Um, but you know, Arturo Fuente, hey, Opus X, you know. But this is a mild to medium. It, I don't know what to expect. I mean, it's not quite what I would consider in my wheelhouse. Aroma, well, <laughs> it's got a cedar wrap. So I did a straight cut on it because I did a shallow V and I was getting no draw. It's got a very nice cocoa, dark chocolatey kind of flavor, some spice to it. The draws open a little bit better with that straight cut. The wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf. Not my number one choice. Binder and filler. It's got a foot band and a cedar wrap. Binder and filler are Dominican and it's made in Dominican Republic. So it's a really nice looking cigar. Well wrapped. So let's get it going. So yeah, three months I've had this. I have no idea how old it was before that. I don't know exactly who it was that put it in that box because there's a few people in front of me and quite a few after me. So the contents totally kept changing probably. So it looks to be in really good shape. Got a good smell to it. Cigar International says, when it comes to consistency, Arturo Fuente, it's just like winning the lottery every single day. Consistent quality, consistent flavor, consistent construction. It's a cigar equivalent of how your spot on the couch somehow manages to feel exactly the same no matter how many times you sit on it. I don't write this stuff. Made with Connecticut wrappers in the Chateau series, this is the Connecticut Broadleaf, Arturo Fuente cigars are well-made, mild to medium in body, and beautifully constructed. Looks, personality, dependability. If they could cook your dinner, you wouldn't need much else in this world. It draws a little bit better now. The smoke outfit's pretty good, as you can see. I'm getting a different amount of light coming through today because I got a little actual natural light out. One of the rare times I'm smoking a cigar in the day, and that's sort of why I picked this mild to medium. So I won't destroy my taste buds if I want to have another one later on tonight. I know a lot of you out there smoke a few cigars a day. <clears throat> I'm not one of those people, so I'm lucky if I can get a few a week. Just work schedule, time, everything like that. I'm lucky if I can get two a week, to be honest with you. Not too bad. I can tell it's going to be a mild to medium stick, which is fine. That's that's why I picked it. And I knew the construction would be good. I've heard good things about that. I just was sort of warned by a friend not to expect too much out of it. It won't knock my socks off. But um, nice aroma. It's not as nice as, you know, Caro, San Andreas, those darker, richer types, but um, this is a Maduro. Of, they have the double chateau that's not a Maduro. Swish to draw was better. It's, it's still kind of snug, but nice performance so far. Let's see how it goes. About 30 minutes into this Double Chateau Maduro, Arturo Fuente, it's performing great. 
the draw has opened up a little bit. The burn line, by the way, that shadow you're seeing right there, that's the sunlight coming in, seeing back of my camera and back of my laptop. But uh, that's what that line is, in case you're curious. But um, no, it's performing perfectly. Even one of the whiter, white, not wide, whiter ashes I've seen, part of that was already falling off, so you can't see it, but it's, uh, it's great. It's mild, no doubt about that. Um, flavor, mild, you know, that it's, it's, it, I, and I sort of expect that. It's not gonna, you know, blow my socks off. Decent aroma, just your typical mild to medium cigar and probably perfect for this time of day. It looks like it's gonna last a while too. It's a big cigar. Big ass cigar, as somebody else says on YouTube all the time. Pretty mild there on the retro hail too. So I assume this would be great for like going out golfing or just hanging out, you know, and don't want to uh, torture your palate before smoking maybe some stronger cigars. I like it. I cannot complain for less than six bucks. Solid cigar. So let's keep going. It went out. It was doing so well. I was marketing it up so nicely for how it was performing and for no apparent reason it just went out. Um, but I'm going to show you if you can see it there, really thin burn line, also known as, not by me, a mascara line. I don't use that term, but I've heard it used. Uh, but I will say midway through this thing, the foot smoke coming off there got really nice, nice cocoa-y, chocolatey foot smoke. It was great. So I just want to take this quick opportunity to show you something pretty cool. So this happens once in a while, cigar will go out for no reason, and usually what happens my experience is that right around the burn line it's like really hard and stiff you can, it's crackly almost and this is a great opportunity to use my Havana saver uh, if you haven't seen these before I have a video out on it but um, this little pouch that comes in it's razor sharp you could prick your finger and get blood out of that thing if you needed to for checking your blood sugar but anyway this is the Las Vegas one kind of hard to find I've, I've heard I got on Amazon, it wasn't that much, 15 bucks, I don't know, it's pretty cool. So here's one of the things I use it for. Sometimes I'll use it to poke through there and open up the draw, but the draw has been great. Yeah, here's a, really the good reason for it, is I use this to scrape it off, which I can't really do on camera, I gotta do it in the ashtray over here. Scrape, 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 get it all off of there as much as I can, and then scrape it just a little bit more, a little bit harder to get rid of the black stuff, tap it, and you can see some of the black ash come out. Blow through it, which is called purging, and then light it up again. Um, it usually comes back, every cigar I've done this on, it comes back great, fresh, just as good as new. So once you get a little heat going to it there, blow through it again. And I can already tell it's gonna be nice. And I'm back in business. You can still see there's just a little bit of black in there, but it's it's not coming through on the flavor. It's not harsh, not bitter. Terrific. I tell you what, these Havana savers are, if you have something similar to it, these are just cool. And they have lots of different things. They got flags, they got strippers, they got teams, I think. They got all kinds of different designs. It's called a Havana Saver. Not getting anything for telling you about that, it's just like to share what it is I use and I like and I suggest and recommend so there I'm back to a good cigar again there's still some black in there but and it's a little stubborn to burn there might need a little scraping again just to get rid of that charry stuff but it doesn't taste that way it's just like new I guess you could always clip it if you wanted to but uh, yeah pretty typical situation shouldn't have gone out it's dinged a little for that. The only other thing I'll notice is once in a while you can see the wrapper cracking a little there and it is 29% relative humidity out here. But anyway, this thing is, is performing really nice. I, I gotta look at this. Band comes off perfectly. I guess I'll show it to you now. Pretty nice looking band. So I'm digging this thing so far. This is uh, exceeding my expectations. So let's keep going. 
a little over an hour and a half into this Arturo Fuente Grand Reserva Double Chateau Maduro. Long name, long cigar. It's gonna probably go for another at least 20 minutes. It's doing great. Um, this, like I said, definitely exceeded my expectations. So, you know, good case of don't go into a cigar too biased one way or the other, good or bad, because this has been this has been great. So appearance-wise, great looking cigar, nice band, nice presentation with the foot band and the cedar wrap. The wrapper itself is looking really good too. Burn, for the most part, other than that going out one time, very straight, small burn line, great construction, great performance. Aroma is really, really nice, especially like I said, the second half. Just getting better and better. Tastes pretty mild. Um, nothing harsh, nothing negative in there at all. Um, just, just really pleasant. Strength, I would say medium for sure. I am feeling a little bit, but then again, it might be the size. You know, this is a, almost a seven inch, almost six and a half inch, almost seven inch stick. So there's some strength in there. Um, it's, I wouldn't say mild at all. I'd say medium. I don't know about medium plus. But it, to go along with that, though, I will say body, there is more complexity than I expected. There were some slight, subtle flavor changes, definitely different foot smoke changes. So that's that's just terrific. I ended up scoring this a 96, which before I started, I never would have thought it would score that high. When I, when I see mild, automatically my mind means, well, it's probably mild in flavor, too. It might be like smoking a paper bag, but no, not at all. And... I will say again, Connecticut Broadleaf is not usually at the top of my list, but they did a very good job with this. So, once again, this is the cigar with the long name, Arturo Fuente Grand Reserva Double Chateau Maduro. I can't speak to the non-Maduro cigars if they're as good as this, but this is great. I cannot complain at all about this. I would buy more for less than six bucks a piece for something this big. This is a this is a this is a great all around cigar. No complaints at all. So, thanks for watching this Chris Stogie Palace. Appreciate the downloads, the comments. Try to respond to all of them, and uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the reviews. I enjoy doing them, and keep watching. I'll talk to you later.